what you talking about now, saying? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore seen underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can always always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge of freedom i mean i think the relationships that end okay now like, i'm not talking about cheating or infidelity like take infidelity and all that shit because some motherfuckers is like they've never been cheated on or that person didn't cheat on them or didn't do them wrong just left them and they were a fuck boy or a, a bum bitch or some shit like that like they just left you alone because the relationship was over. That's that's your only anger right now. That's your only gripe. Shit like that, it kinda it kinda makes you wonder if like motherfuckers is doing this shit for like just for the emotionality and the sympathy of it all. You dig what I'm saying? Like that shit annoys me because it's like everybody can't be wrong. Everybody can't be wrong in you unless you're attracted to being wronged. You feel what I'm saying? You're attracted to that shit. You know, I'm not saying you should, you should, you should be, and I'm not saying that's the case with you, but like I said, if your attraction has not changed, if you're not attracted to what you, you, you feel me? If in your mind, this is my attraction, like you got to be real careful because you, you have a, uh, we all have an aesthetic, of, we have three attractions. We have three. We have the physical attraction, the mental attraction, and the soul uh, attraction. Some of us don't even get to the mental attraction. We get stuck on that physical attraction and think because we have the physical attraction, we automatically have the mental and the soul attraction. Uh-uh. No. Motherfucker. Hell no. And see, we do it backwards. We start with the physical, then go to the mental, then go to the spiritual. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-uh. You got to you gotta figure out if you like that soul first. You got to figure out if you like that soul first. Like, if you don't like that person's soul, if you don't like that person's soul, they'll be physically ugly to you. They'll eventually become physically ugly for it towards you. You know what I'm saying? Because from the soul, like that's the soul, it goes soul, mind, body. But it's a synergy. They all work together. You feel what I'm saying? Soul is the will. The mind is the thought. The body is the action. You feel me? The physical is the action. So if you don't like their soul, that means you don't like their willpower. Their willpower precedes their thoughts. You feel what I'm saying? So if you don't like their soul, you can't like what they're thinking. You feel what I'm saying? Now, if you don't like what they're thinking, their actions are going to fuck you up. You feel me? So, you have to understand, you got, that's, that's why it's best to understand the soul. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't, if you don't like that person's, if you don't like that person's soul, right? You don't like their mind. Therefore, you don't like their mind, you don't like the thought process. Therefore, you don't like their actions. You don't like the shit that they do. So, we often, you know, get into relationships, like I said, if we stuck on the physical, that means it's the action-based part of it, you know? And some of our, our relationships are so basic that we'd we be like, you know, your actions have to be a, a certain way. Don't show me. I don't, like, words don't mean nothing action to. Words mean a lot because words also come from thought process. You feel what I'm saying? But all of that then has to extend to the soul. But we never, we try to do it backwards. We're like, oh, I like your actions. You're calling me on a regular basis. You're texting me good morning, all of this shit and all of that. What's that person's soul like? Because the actions, the actions don't mean shit if the soul is off. You know what I'm saying? If that person's solar energy is, is not in a, in, a, in a solid place. You feel me? So it's hard to get to that soul point. And here's why. Here's why it's hard to get to that soul point. Because you have things like spirituality and religion. You feel what I'm saying? So if within this conflict, it's, if you're, and that's, that's how that shit plays out. So you understand that if, if we get together on the same spiritual level, so we think spirituality, whether wherever it is that you do. So this is why like there will be conflicts with people who, I use a perfect example. There's a con there would definitely be a conflict between an atheist and a religious person. Seriously, it, 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 there's no ifs, ands, and maybes about it. Because they're recognizing the soul's the opposition. Therefore, their mentalities are not going to be the same. Therefore, they know the actions are not going to work. So we get that on that point, right? But we don't try to fine tune it on this. Just in this, we assume that, and we don't even get to that point of spirituality. 
with it because and, and and the soul connection with it because if we're in the same religious perspective we feel like we we're, we're the same therefore our thoughts should be the same therefore our actions should be the same not nah, two motherfuckers could be in the same religious sect and be on completely different spectrums case in point you have motherfuckers if you look at if you if you just from christianity standpoint you have motherfuckers that study the old testament you have motherfuckers that study the new testament then you have the amalgamation of motherfuckers that build the shit bridge the shit in the middle they take and then you have those people that put in and take out what they don't want to take out you feel what i'm saying so from that perspective alone that means they soul is not right I don't care if y'all honoring y'all think y'all honoring the same book from the from the perspective. If the solar energy is not right, that means the thoughts are not there. Therefore, the the action is going to be completely off. But that's a tangent that you know I kind of drifted off onto to get back to the whole point about patience.